from a three-word response, putting an end to the Harleen series rumor, to explain why the character Harley Quinn is now beloved as a standalone. Here's James Gunn setting the record straight on the alleged Harley Quinn series. The word on the street was that there was an alleged undisclosed DC Universe project in the works, a Harley Quinn featuring Margot Robbie series. Back in January, Gunn and Peter Safran, co-CEO of DC Studios, revealed the first projects on the new DC Universe's schedule. At the time, Gunn acknowledged that a number of projects in various stages of production had been left off the slate during the unveiling. So you understand the buzz on the street and the multitude of rumors, speculations, and possibilities that little statement triggered, right? As you can imagine, DC Twitter in particular lit up meaning the producers had quite a lot to clear up, and that's exactly what Gunn did. The co-CEO managed to respond to recent rumors that said a Robbie-led Harley Quinn series was in the works. Now, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but the man quickly dispelled the rumor that anything of the sort was going on behind the scenes. In a simple, three-word response, there is not. The American filmmaker made it crystal clear that there was no truth behind these tales. I'll just go cry in my corner here, excuse me. But what was the rumor anyway? Well, word on the street was that DC was developing a prequel television series starring Robbie as Harley Quinn. The alleged television show was to be titled Harleen and would center on how Harley's efforts to save the Joker caused her to become insane. I mean, that's a pretty strong premise, right? But that's not all. Apparently, apart from our beloved Barbie actress, a little birdie shared that Harvey Dent, aka Two-Face, will also be appearing in the series. A series that would basically take place independently of the events of The Suicide Squad and Birds of Prey. But alas, Gunn's forthright, soul-crushing, conversation-ending denial effectively puts an end to the rumor's chances of being true. Now remember, don't kill the messenger. Although the guy who started this train really was onto something, don't you think? Still. The question is, where can the new DC Universe's Harley Quinn make a comeback? Now here's the thing. James may have slammed down the Harley rumors, but that's not the only way our gal can come back. It's DC, folks. There's always another way. The truth is that one of the only consistently positive elements of the previous DCEU was the actress's portrayal of Harley Quinn, and even Margot has stated that she enjoys the role. It's a match made in heaven. Besides, Gunn would want Robbie's powerful performance in his DC universe, especially after the two of them collaborated on The Suicide Squad. Now, there are several possibilities for Robbie's Harley Quinn to make a comeback. The OG henchwoman would probably do well with a part in the new HBO Max series Waller, one of the DC universe's planned projects. It's true that the actress has only played the role in the DC film universe so far, but the role would fit so well with Amanda Waller's Suicide Squad spin-off series. Don't you guys agree? Waller will once again be played by Viola Davis. Other cast members from Gunn's Peacemaker series are also expected to work on the film. An entire band is coming together. Amidst all that, it would be a fascinating fit to see Robbie play Harley Quinn for the first time in the new DC universe. All the while, as she deals with the fallout from disobeying Waller and the Suicide Squad. Besides, the Australian actress has frequently expressed her desire to see her character and Poison Ivy interact in real life and start a relationship, both in the comic books and the HBO Max animated Harley Quinn. The two characters had a beloved connection among fans, so that is a wonderful little concoction on its own. The two would make for a dazzling movie for the new DC Universe, with their popularity, the new DC might just welcome a boost in popularity, something they can never have too much of, right? The possibility is never there. Yes, the Harleen series is off the table, but our guy, James Gunn, he has stated that he will for sure collaborate with the Birds of Prey actress once more. The recently hired CEO of DC Studios has also announced via tweet that he does want to work with Margot Robbie once more further fueling Harley Quinn fans who wish to see their favorite actress doing what she does best, wreaking havoc. Leaving open the possibility that Robbie may reprise her role as Quinn in the director's proposed DC Cinematic Universe. But for now, the Babylon actress is always happy to come home. Although Lady Gaga assumed the infamous role for the production of the new Joker film, a choice that Robbie has approved.
But still, it'll always be Robbie who created a foundation so solid that Harley can now be one of those characters. The Barbie actress has said the same thing from the start. All she wants is for Harley Quinn to be one of those characters that always gets passed from great actor to great actor. And that's what's happening, too. In total, Margot Robbie has portrayed Harley Quinn three times. Not once, not twice, but three times and each time has been more iconic than the rest. So it's safe to say that when it was discovered that Lady Gaga, not Margot Robbie, who would play Harley Quinn in the Joker sequel, we the fans were in for a shock. It gave rise to questions like, is Robbie never going to play the role again? I mean, the announcement that Henry Cavill will not be playing Superman in the DC Universe again had already left fans in throes. This would have just pushed them over the edge. Gunn, though, loves to insist that he did not fire Cavill, and that he would be okay with him coming back in a totally new role. That leads to viewers' speculation as to whether the director intends to use Robbie as Harley Quinn in a DC production, or in any other movie, given that that's an open possibility now. So far, the actress has not been cast in any of the DC films that will be released in 2023. So why is Gunn playing with us? They should bring her back, though. Fans love Margot Robbie Quinn. I mean, how can they not? But what about this previously standalone figure inspired her fans to care so much? It's true that Harley undoubtedly benefited from the success of the villain she was paired with, because the Joker is still one of the most recognizable figures in all of popular culture. But that doesn't mean that Quinn is anything less than the ideal co-conspirator for Batman's most formidable adversary. Her mix of upbeat energy and a propensity for extreme violence has viewers on the edge of their seats the entire time. I mean, is there anything that Quinn can't do? Her funky look and penchant for mayhem involving clowns make her the ideal match for Gotham's most notorious criminals. It only makes sense that since Batman has Robin, his adversary should have a dependable and well-known ally as well. You've got to play fair, right? But perhaps no one saw the way viewers would crave more. There are endless fresh stories that fans would like to hear now. All based on the destructive chemistry between the Joker and Harley, the ultimate iconic duo, they've had quite the arc, too. Dr. Harleen Quinzel, the psychiatrist in charge of Arkham Asylum's most challenging prisoner, is brought to light. And then the impossible happens. Quinzel develops affection for the Joker so much that she ends up aiding the bad guy in escaping, ultimately becoming his most important ally, too. The two aren't just iconic. They've basically coined the term at this point. Don't you agree? There's no doubt that Quinn's extended background contributes to her growing popularity among admirers. It showcased exactly what the narrative was missing. Harley is able to offer a human aspect to the clowns that couldn't have been done otherwise— all by giving her a real origin story, as opposed to the normally obscure backstory of the Joker. Everyone loves a little more insight, right? Her poisonous relationship with the Joker is one of the most memorable narratives in comics, and part of the reason that fans love the character. But ever since her debut, our gal has acquired even more depth and complexity as her character develops, making her one of the most captivating figures in all of the comic books, so much so that now, She's beloved as a standalone, too, despite the fact that her destructive connection with the Joker is frequently used as a backup by writers. Her character is still developing. And thriving, if I may add. You know what that means, right? She no longer needs the toxic relationship to be fascinating. As she gained popularity, Harley Quinn also developed into a distinct and a dynamic character who is not limited to her initial setting. And that's the real game-changer, isn't it? So, from potentially bringing the fans the origin story of one of the most loved characters, to it possibly being a standalone, that was James Gunn setting the record straight on the alleged Harley Quinn series.